guys, what's going on? Justin Masson here with Nintendo Dads, and I'm about to take a watch at the Pokemon Direct. I have not seen this yet. It has been a busy morning. This is my first watch at it. I've kind of loaded up the player to it. We're going to take a watch uh, and see what happens. So, let's begin. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. I'm Ichihara from the Pokemon Center. Hello, very nice to meet you. I'm Justin Today's from Nintendo topic. Dads. I'd like to touch on two topics. Two topics. Okay. Let's get started with the first topic. Ooh, jumping in right fast. At the following footage. Okay. What are you going to show me? 2006. Let me think 2006. Hmm, what is going on here? Excuse me. Please wake up. I am awake and I am ready for you. It's a Pokemon game. There's a Pikachu and a something else. Don't know its name. 2020, so it's a remake of a game. It's still Pikachu. Bulbasaur? Balbasaur. I... It's a starter. I know that from the first gen. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Who the hell named that? Um, okay. So, I know Mystery Dungeon is a Pokemon game from before. Obviously, 2006. I have no idea what this game is about. It appears to be like a... RPG, maybe? There's some RPG elements in there I saw. Uh, dungeon Crawler? Maybe it's Mystery Dungeon, so it's a Dungeon Crawler? I don't know. Pokemon oh, okay. Cool. I'm sure that some people this is very exciting for. This is one of you. Congratulations. I'm happy you get what that ever that is for me. Been about 15 years. No idea. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 15 years. Teams, Crazy. Okay. okay, so these are part of the old DS and uh, Game Boy Advance. Okay, cool. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX to be released March 6th. Whoa! Pre wow, okay. Mm, that's that's two weeks before Animal Crossing. There's a demo available today after this presentation. Okay, carry over save data. Cool. So please take this opportunity to get a sample of the fun. Get a sample and get started, right? Now, topic, uh, that's two weeks before Animal Crossing. That feels like that may be a, a place for it to die. But I hope I'm wrong, you know? But good for them. Ooh, we're going back to Sword and Shield. Is this DLC? There has been that talk. Some maps. Cool. Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hello, and I'm Amori, also from Game Freak. Also from Game Freak. We hope everyone has been finding something to enjoy in the latest entries to the Pokemon series. I have been Pokemon enjoying it. And Pokemon Shield I'm sorry to tell you you didn't November. make my top five, but you're in an honorable mention. Good for you. Deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. Okay. All right. Well, what do you got for us? We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. I have been there. I enjoyed that. I am only about, I'm close to in Gym 3, one, having some fun with it still. We suspect you've had many new I've seen a couple of these peoples and made some discoveries, yeah. We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer, with more Ooh. to dig into and new... DLC! DLC. We've been working on plans for some time, in fact. Interesting. This is why we at Game Freak are Also, Grookey. Grookey. I know you're asking yourself, like, what kind did Justin pick? Grookey's my starter. Whoa! Expansion Pass. That's interesting. So tell me more. We'd sometimes release new titles set in the same region as previous. Okay, yeah, I've heard, yeah, where they kind of mix the two, right? Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a Pokemon fan again. Like, I don't know a lot about it, but that seems a bit of a cash grab. So Expansion Pass is not like that. Oh, same save data. That's, I guess, I think before you had to start a new game, so that's cool. We're in the thick of development now, but we've prepared some footage for you so you'll be able to at least get a feeling for what new experiences await you. I like the bagpipes, by the way, that I'm hearing in the background to go with the gallery. I think it's bagpipes. Please have a look. A little bit of the direct to you. Toe tapping fun! Our adventure continues. 
Expansion Pass. Okay. Some content is exclusive to a game version. Okay. So we're knowing is it'll be different. Oh, look at this. This is kind of a lush place. Is this a new, new area? New region? That's a Pokemon. Don't know what it's called. Don't ask me. That's a, that's a gym, maybe? With a old person by the gym? That's a gym. There's a gym battle thing, right? There's a person with a ball with a, looks like a little kimono outfits going on there. Some new hair colors. Some new haircuts. Some new shoes and accessories. Well, tell me more. And some hats. Oh, gee now. And a bicycle. Wowzers. What's going on there? Who is she? That guy looks crazy. Okay. Oh, I some of these Pokemon look familiar. Oh, I know those ones look familiar. Blast, Blastoid was one of them. I know the starters. Grookey. Grookey. That's what I got. I got him. Also, totally disappointed no one sent me like a, some sweet Grookey gear to wear. I totally rock some Grookey jumper or sweater or something on stream, but no one. It's hurt. It hurts a lot. The Isle of Armor. Cool. Very cool. What is this? Okay. So is Snow Village. Now oh, that looks very like Hogwarts, Harry Potter inspired ish. Cool. Okay. This is kind of cool gear. I like the winter look. Maybe it's because I'm Canadian, eh? I don't know. Looks cool, though. Get it? Cool? Cold? It's winter? Nah, you'll get it later. All right. Uh, why that person's face scratched off? I don't know what that is. I do like the winter gear. He looks looks neat. Some new backpacks, some more sunglasses and uniforms. Some, oh, some Pokemon that I don't know who they are. Again, I don't even know if they're currently in the game. Hmm. Okay, well, that's kind of neat. Alright, here's what I will say about them. They cut a great promo clip. Clip, clip. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is... This is good. Dun, dun, dun. The Crown Tundra. Okay. The Isle... Oh! Okay, it's two-part expansion. Okay, that's cool. Tell me more. What are we, what are we doing here? What is this? This guy looks intense. This thematically doesn't necessarily feel like it fits in with the Gala region. Feels very... I don't know what's going on here. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Going back to snow. Oh, what is this thing? Okay, I have no idea what, what that you was. First look? I thought it was okay. Thank you for asking. Very polite. The Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass will be composed of the Isle of Armor. Okay. Oh. End of June end 2020. 2020. Okay. That's not bad. And the Crown Tundra. Planned to be released in autumn. 2020. Autumn 2020. Hmm. Interesting. If you buy the Pokemon okay. Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass, you'll be able to enjoy both as they're released. Okay. So you cannot buy them separately. Just at the top. So as so expansion as it goes. A different adventure. Okay. Where you'll be able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet new people and Pokemon that live there. Okay. There cool. are two versions of the expansion pack. Oh. One for Sword and one for Pokemon Shield. Uh, different Pokemon. Of course there would be. Different versions. And you'll of course. Run into some different people and places. Mm -hmm. We're hoping players right. can continue with the classic Pokemon. So as opposed to having one expansion pass, you've built two because you're now, gonna ado, people if they have two copies to like Marty or like Tim or even Pokemon like Jesse would buy two of them. So you can't just have one. Exclusives. All right. Well, I like this winter thing. This looks kind of cool. Hello. Hello. I'm Tawny from Game Freak. Tawny again. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you. I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion. Congratulations on your role. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. Good. They should so be. You're advertising for them. We'd like to show off some designs and concept art. Please do. That's why I'm here. I'm excited to hear more. 
your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor, which focuses on the theme of growth. Okay. Take a look. Okay. Uh, I, uh, Isle of Armor, growth. The next destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shores of the Galar region known as the so, Isle okay. of Armor. Okay. Yeah, so it's an island off of it, so it's an expansion this region. Is full of beautiful nature. Ooh, it is very pretty. Beaches, bogs, Some forests, rocks. Caves and dunes. And of course, hmm, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar Dwelling there, too. Okay. There's a dojo for Pokemon battles on this island. Oh, so I did call that. You'll take up an apprenticeship under the Pokemon trainer who runs it. Okay. Well, that's interesting. This is Muster, who will become your mentor. Muster. He's also the mentor of champion Leon. Oh. We know quite well. Okay, we know Leon. Muster yeah, we're tight. We're good friends. Okay. You'll also right. encounter new rivals. The guy looks like he's seen some stuff, you know what I'm saying? I also like Pokemon his jacket. Sword expansion packs, you'll be training with Clara, who is a poison Clara. type. Clara. When playing with the Pokemon Shield oh, okay. expansion packs, you will be training with So this Avery, is again where we're seeing some exclusivity. Type. Avery, so I guess I have Shield. So I would get Avery apparently as opposed to Clara. Next, we'd like to introduce the legendary Pokemon that will be central to the story. Oh, there's a sto whole story. Cub-Foo. Okay. Cub it's a fighting-type Pokemon that strives Cub to become stronger with single Cub -foo. I kind of feel like... I feel like... I mean, interesting. Training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. Feels... Okay. All right. Once you complete your training together with cub -foo, it will be able to evolve Whoa. into Urshifu. Urshifu, cub -foo, Urshifu. A Pokemon with two distinct styles. There is single strike style. Single strike. A fighting and dark type style that delivers okay. a single strike at blinding speed. Okay. There's hmm. also rapid strike style. A fighting and water type style that focuses on unleashing a torrent of rapid strikes. Okay. What's more, it's so been revealed that Urshifu did you choose one of the two? Form. Oh. Each so style will have a different appearance. As well as a different V Max move. There's a lot going on there. Into an in I have. I don't even think those are real words. Rapid strike style during your adventure. Okay. Urshifu is a powerful Pokemon with a brand new. Ability. Looks powerful. Looks like it also kicks him a. Move for each of its two styles. Okay. Once Interesting. You've your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official. I probably battles. won't, but I appreciate the offer because that is not me. But someone else, it might be. That's good for them. Not this guy. Boomer. Ah, Cinderace. the and starters. Cinderace. Final evolutions of the first three Pokemon you team up with in the Galar region. Yep. During yep. your adventure in the Isle of Armor, these special partners in your teams will be able to Gigantamax. You can oh, that's cool. Seeing their new forms and new G-Max moves. G-Max and Gigantamax. And as you can see here, we've got even more in the work to make sure your journey is Apricone, as Apricorns. Street. Look at the new fashion. New fashion. You know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for the flat cap. That's what I want. Ooh, a new bike fashion mode. We hope you look forward to the new experiences okay. in the Isle of Armor. Okay, well, it looks cool. Like, I'm definitely I'm definitely in. I'm interested. Isle of Armor looks cool. You can't buy them separately. Next, I'd like to discuss the Crown Tundra. That would be the logical the segue, because it's the second one. Of exploration. Ooh, exploration. I'm going to show you the information we have at the moment. Then I would love to see the information. This expansion is set in the snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. I do like this at look, too. I don't like the logo of the Crown Tundra, but I'm just being picky now. As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all in the gallery. Some graves. In this frigid area, with its towering winter mountains, people live in small communities that support and rely on each other. That's cool. Much like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokemon that didn't appear in the Galar region before. Okay. All right, some, some new Pokemon to add to your Pokedex. Look at me using the lingo, huh? I'm impressed. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place that doesn't seem to belong. Okay. A certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team. A certain person. The way he said that feels like I should know who that certain person is, but I have no clue. Explore blizzard swept fields, and even deep inside Pokemon dens. Pokemon dens? What are Pokemon dens? During max raid battles. Okay, I did not see those during yeah. my max raid battles, but I'm not that far. Calyrex. Calyrex. Oh, okay. This is that weird thing at the end. Calyrex. Legends say this Pokemon once ruled over a. I like the Calyrex green kind of look to the crown, and then like the patterning with the Triforce kind of look. Regal movements. 
Regal, ready to experience the psychic and grass type. About the okay, okay. Of Calyrex. Calyrex. Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op, new co-op play mode. This will allow you what? To enter and explore cool. That exist under huh. The Crown Tundra. I don't. I'm not. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. you may see just. Pokemon I'm just adding to the hype now. Before your eyes. Okay. Be able to meet and make allies of I know one of those things. Mew, Mewtwo. Mewtwo? These are all legendaries? Oh, those guys are from Sun and Moon. I have one of those thingies. It also appears that some brand new legendary Pokemon mm, are also those are kind of found intense. In cool. And combined with the Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items will Okay. Be so new okay well and people seem to like the customization look at that outfit that's a lot new battle challenge awaits you okay into the details of everything but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy pokemon even as we speak okay the Isle of armor and the crown tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on both areas are in fact seamless maps much like the wild area you can already experience in the gala region oh players are able to move around freely and control the camera oh that's cool i like that to connect with other trainers and play with them this was kind of one of the bones of contentions i had with it was that in the wild area you could go free and roam freely and then with the camera and then once you got into the like into the actual land levels it was like back to the regular so that's cool. That's interesting. So those two areas are open, kind of like open world, like the wild area. That's interesting. Hmm. That was some of the criticism I think they received, so they are being open about that. What did you think? I thought it was good. You had my attention. Good. I appreciate that. Appreciate your honesty. So you can spend more time having fun in the gallery region. I'll, I will have fun. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come. Your excitement uh, overwhelms me, is what I would say. Bye! Thank you, Magitani. On the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokemon that didn't appear in the Galar region before. Hmm. There will be more than 200 Pokemon species that appear in these areas, and you can add to your team, including... I'm taking a pause here for a second. So I wonder if this is a little bit of, in, and I know you're like, why are you pausing now? This is interesting. They're saying there's uh, Pokemon that maybe you have not experienced before or they've experienced before are coming here. I wonder if this is a little bit of the backlash that they had about the whole Pokedex, National Pokedex stuff not being added. So they're kind of slowly patching some of the Pokemon in. I don't know for sure. Like, And maybe there's other updates that will come along with it. Maybe by the end of the crown tundra thing in august or autumn of 2020 you get the whole decks but i wonder if that's how they're competing with that or how they're they're um meeting that challenge they're having and some feedback so i don't know i'll keep going but just interesting the legendary pokemon mentioned before additionally we'll be distributing free updates for pokemon sword and pokemon shield that will coincide with the releases of the isle of armor free updates crown during that time okay these updates will allow people who don't have the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra. Oh, okay. Other means, such as so that's good. So you could you could you could trade even if you didn't the have it and still get them. That's cool. Pokemon, Pokemon Home. Interesting. Pokemon this was home. talked about like last year. As long as the Pokemon Bank, Eevee, and Pokemon Pikachu. Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass. Okay, interesting. Well, I wonder when that's coming. That'll be Pokemon a big thing. Oh. Well, if you ask, February 2020, okay. So uh, that'll be interesting to hear more about that. Even more details before then. You should. He'll need to release more details. A little bit longer, hey? Okay, well, that's interesting. Finally, we have some more news for our Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield players. Okay, I'm listening. I'm still here. Starting today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, Gigantamax Lapras, and Gigantamax Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in the Appleton in the wild. Area. What is that? Is powerful Pokemon with your friends. Okay. There will also be a software update going live shortly after this presentation. Oh. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. Wedgehurst Station. In Pokemon Station. Sword, you'll encounter Quara. Okay. While in Pokemon Shield, you'll run into Avery. Avery's got some you'll weird things going with the shorts. Probably shouldn't tuck the shirt in, but in from the Isle of Armor. Slowpoke. You'll be able to catch it and add it to your team. Okay. Galarian Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor. Or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found in the Crown Tundra. 
Don't forget to check it out. So they're encouraging us to evolve that thing, you but you should get it now. I think it's Today, good. We've finally been able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going forward. Cool. Well, thanks for having us. We hope we've been able to get you excited for I'm the continuing adventures. Sure. I will keep playing. In the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Well, I appreciate that. The expansion pack is the first for the core Pokemon series. Okay. We'll do okay. our best to fill it to the brim with adventures like you've never experienced before. Whether you're just starting with Pokemon Sword and that Pokemon That is sort of me. Or you've done everything there is to do. Definitely not me. We'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Okay. All right, all right. Stay tuned for more updates in the future. Okay. My thanks to everyone from Game Freak. The Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion packs... Okay. How much and when? ...contains both the Isle of Armor and... The Crown Tundra. Okay. Will be available for pre Sure. They did this like with the late with um, Breath of the Wild's expansion pass too. It was very quickly to order. So that's about thirty five. The uh, <laughs> there you go. How convenient. They built it right in. The, uh, the update will bring it. Okay. Yep. As a special purchase bonus, we've also prepared some clothing items that can be used starting today. Okay. Pokemon will continue to try new things in twenty twenty. To bring fun and joy to people around the world. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Uh, so let's have a chat about that. I think that was interesting. Uh, generally, like off the hop, I don't think it's a bad idea. I heard a lot of people talking about kind of some of the challenges and they were hoping for some DLC or some kind of expansion pass or reason to come back to Pokemon. Um, so I think this is very interesting. I, I, I like the idea of what Pokemon appears to be doing here, at least, is kind of creating a little bit of a, you know, gives you reasons to keep coming back, right? Um, you know, when it's combating stuff like games as a service, right, or, or you know, I think of something like a Fortnite, um, you need to give reasons for people to continue to come back and, and spend time with the game. So I wonder if this is, like, kind of a twofold, addressing some of the complaints I think were heard, kind of, like, not from everybody, but, like, from a, from a select group, I think, regarding the Pokedex, the National Dex is an example of that. And then this kind of lack of... Um, free free world movement that we saw in the wild areas and how that kind of they would like that to continue throughout so i think that both the part one and part two of the expansion pass seems to allow for that so i think that's a very interesting move um to to jump into it so all all in all i think it's actually really interesting um as i mentioned earlier i'm still playing pokemon shield i'm still enjoying it i've just had other things that have caught my attention but i kind of go back to it i'm working on my third gym right now um, I think I'm going to pick up this expansion pass, to be honest. I think it's it's interesting. I like the fact that it doesn't sound like they're going to do this, like, ultra, you know, sword, shield, combined thing like they seem to do every year or every, you know, year after a release to kind of be a bit of a cash grab. And then you, can re you have to restart it and you can't use the same save data. It's very interesting that they're taking this approach and, and, and basically doing that same idea of, like, hey, we're going to give you more, expand it more, um, but we're going to use this expansion pass idea. And, and changes the way that you kind of engage with it. So I think that's a really, uh, I think a, a smart move from the company. I think it has, has to, don't mind the pun here, the Pokemon company has to evolve. And I think that that's what we're seeing a little bit of here. Um, be interesting to kind of see what the attachment rate is and successes of this. Uh, I know I'm going to just kind of check with our crew and see how many people are buying it. But um, I also wonder, does this mean you're going to get, you know, does this slow down the annualization of Pokemon? Right, like, are we going to see any other Pokemon game? Like, I know there had always kind of been that rumor of, like, a Let's Go, I don't know, Pearl, uh, Black Pearl, something, something. I don't know, like, the next generation after uh, after the originals. Like, the, what's the next <clears throat> What's the next Let's Go game? So I wonder if this is slowing some of that down. So I, I don't know. I think I think it's interesting. I think good for Pokemon Company. I think they still have a lot to lot to talk about, though, still, right? I think that definitely that, um, that Pokemon Home is something. They had talked about Pokemon... Um, sleep about a year ago that we haven't heard more about um and then i think this whole pokemon dungeon thing that they're doing this like remake coming out in march i'm i don't you know i'm not a huge huge fan of that or i mean it's not my cup of tea but somebody is obviously excited for it so congratulations hopefully that's you great idea putting the demo out now i think you're putting in a really bad time just before animal crossing but it may be that kind of like People will play it for a couple weeks before Animal Crossing and then just jump over to it. Or the audience bases are, are so different that it doesn't really matter. I don't fully know. Um, but yeah, no, I think overall, I think this was, was good. And again, for not being a, like a ravenous, diehard, foamy at the mouth Pokemon fan, uh, I think it was it was pretty cool. It has my attention. And again, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to pick it up. Uh, again, I don't know whether this 
Pokemon Sword and Shield connects with me because of the time I spent over in Ireland, because of the time I was over in Europe and and explored that region and that area, and that kind of just feels familiar. I don't know if that's why, you know, if this was placed in, I don't know, Australia, would I probably be as connected and feel as kind of really want to do it? I don't know. So the region may have something to do with it. But I think it's very interesting. I'm having fun with it, and I continue to. So, uh, yeah. Uh, folks, that is it for my uh, breakdown of the Pokemon Direct that just occurred today. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Did you enjoy this? Are you going to pick up one of these expansion passes? I don't know. Let me know, guys, and uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.